Hello, hello, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of English no Kuruhaju. As always, I am here with Alexia. Hi, how are you today, Foster? I am doing well. Why are you laughing, Alexia? Because this is the third time that we try to <laughs> record. This is, <laughs> but that's fine. Take number three. Things are not easy when we are doing everything virtually. It's a little bit more difficult. So today and this week on the show, Alexia, I think that we should talk about pretty much the only thing to talk about right now. So we are recording this in May of 2020. So we are still in quarantine. I am in the U.S. Alexia is in Portugal. Yes, and today is the first day of the new way of living in Portugal. Um, today we can go outside and go to gardens and parks and um, bookstores and etc. But you must wear mask, and that's it. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, and I think you after could say fifty days. Yeah, after 50 days. I think you More could say today is the first day of the next phase in Portugal's yeah. reopening process or something. Yeah, I forgot about phase. Um, I was inside my head, there was like the new regime, but it's not a regime. You know, it's ugly to say that. So It is not a regime. And with the word regime, regime we say je, je. Regime. Perfect. No, we say phase. In the U.S., we are saying this too, like phase one, phase two. Yeah. Yeah. So, but today we are talking about good things, not trying to romanticize the quarantine at all. No, but it sucks. Yeah, it's horrible. I want this to end as soon as possible, but we can't do anything but stay at home, be careful, take care of ourselves and the other people. So, we are going to talk about good things that we've been doing or trying it out during quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. So, this week on the show, we are going to talk about what we are doing during quarantine, how we are coping, what is keeping us sane, and what is helping us not go completely crazy. And today, Alexia, I wanted to start with your newest hobby, your newest love, your newest passion. It's not new. It's it's not new at all. It's an old passion, but I think the first time as an uh, as an adult adult. Oh my god! As, as an, an adult, adult, as an adult. There we go. That I'm doing this. Yes, and what are you doing exactly? I am investing my time and everything about me on plans, oh. having plans. In plans, I'm investing in. Yes, you said I'm investing my time in, and then you changed and said on me. Yeah. Very close. But yes, Alexia, Almost. you are crazy with plants right now. I'm not crazy. I'm crazy in a good way. Okay. <laughs> so tell me, what are, what are you doing? Try to give our listeners a portrait, a picture of what's going on in your apartment in Portugal. <laughs> so, um, I think that the best way to describe it is that we are uh, in springtime. Yeah. To be honest, I would probably say it's spring. So, it's spring right now. So, it's the best time to buy plants, to buy flowers, to... Um, having those inside your apartment or house because all the plants are extremely healthy and the flowers as well, they already come from the orto, orto? the plant shop. <laughs> yeah, I think you would just say, um, you could say like a flower shop or a gardening shop, a place where you can buy plants and stuff. Yeah, because it's a orto, so it's a huge place that you go inside and you have like um, the 
the big plants, the trees and the flowers and the tiny flowers, and you can choose what you want. It's not like a flower shop. Right. Yeah, it's not like a bouquet of flowers that you buy on Valentine's Day. No. But it is, we are talking about real plants for real plant lovers. Yes. So, so um, I decided that this is the best time as well for me to be completely focused on that. There we go. Yes. <laughs> so I started to like look for plants and good plants that I could have inside the apartment. Mm -hmm. um, the apartment here has a lot of sunlight, which is awesome mm -hmm. during the whole year. So it's a very good apartment to have plants. Yeah. And just really quick, Alexia, I think the most natural way to say this is the apartment has a lot of natural light. Natural light. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So my grandmother, she used to love gardening. Love, love, love. I remember going to her house and apartment and she used to have jasmine and all this kind of flowers that I used to love. And she, she passed it to me. Mm -hmm. All and these kinds of flowers? All these kinds of flowers. These. You're saying this. These. These. There we go. These. And then I said, why not? <laughs> Excellent. So I also have this in my family. My mother loves to garden. She is quite a, an impressive gardener. And she is. my grandfather, her father, was also an amazing gardener. So it runs in the family. <laughs> yes. Do you know that phrase? <laughs> That's an excellent yes. phrase. Runs mm -hmm. in the family means that it's something very natural to you because your family does it. Yeah, yeah. And one day I was looking through Instagram and then I discovered a girl um, who is Portuguese uh, and she's from Porto. Mm -hmm. Porto, sorry. She's from Porto. And her Instagram is at yeah. Atripeirinha. How do you say it again? At. Mm -hmm. A tripeirinha. Então, é arroba a tripeirinha. At a tripeirinha. Exactly. And what's the girl's name? Sofia. Sofia. And Alexia yeah. loves Sofia. Yeah. And tripeirinha, it's because she was born in Porto. Everyone who's born in Porto is tripeiro or tripeira. And from Lisbon is alfacinha. <laughs> so. Exactly. So, Alexia, can I start with some basic questions for you? Yeah. Okay, first, apart from the fact that your grandmother was interested in plants, why do you like this process? Because I'm just imagining in 2020, not too many people are taking the time to, you know, buy soil and take care of plants and water plants. Um, why do you like it? It's, first of all, it's nature inside your apartment. For me, the most amazing thing that you could do in your apartment or house is to bring some kind of life besides the humans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It quite literally so, is life. Plants are living things. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, this is, you have to stop looking at plants and flowers as decoration stuff mm -hmm. decoration decoration stuff and they are part of your life as well yeah and if you want to be very fancy alexia you can say flowers are not only decorative but they are truly life affirming life giving things that you have in your house yeah yeah Second of all, I wanted to have this experience by myself. Like, how would I do as a gardener yeah. and see if I can make this plant leave 
um, through the year because now we have the winter time, right? So I don't know how it's going to be during winter, but I'm excited. Yeah, I'm very excited too. Can I give you a quick correction? So how these plants are going to live through the winter. Live. Yeah. Not leave. Exactly. Live. Okay. So on one hand, you want to bring a little bit of life and nature into your apartment. On the other hand, it's like a project, kind of like a challenge for you, right? Yeah. Yes, and it's therapy. It's therapy. It's the very therapeutic. Amount, yes, the amount of care and love that you have to give to this plant so they can love you back. It's intense and it's very beautiful. Like I would never imagine that I would have to clean each uh, leaf from the plant so they can be able to do the um, photosynthesis. 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 Perfect. Um, That's a difficult one. Photosynthesis. Excellent. Yes. So I'm learning as well, which is cool. Yeah. Can you speak a little bit more about the love and care that you have to give and the plants also give to you in return? Because you do love them. <laughs> you do like that. You right? call them your babies. Most of them yeah. have names. Yeah. They are my girls. Um, yeah. So if I don't take care of them, they won't be there for me. Like they won't give me a new leaf. They won't give me flowers. They won't give me anything. So I need to make sure that they have enough water. And this means that each one has a different type of watering plan. Mm -hmm. Of course, I was smart enough to get some plants that they have this almost the same system. So I, I don't have to do that every single day or I would be freaking out. Right. And when um, you say system, you're talking about the same like schedule, the amount of times yeah. you need to water them. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's it. I mean, it's amazing because there is one plant here specific that during the night, her leaves, they go up. <laughs> Just like, I'm sleeping. Don't bother me. <laughs> and then during the day, they are down. And it's beautiful to see that the up and down. And it, this means that she's healthy. That's amazing. Healthy. Sorry. That's amazing. Yeah. So can I ask you, Alexia? Do you have a, maybe not a favorite plant, but a plant that you really like? Yeah, there are two here. There are three. Two of them are like royalty for me. And I think that I've never seen those in Brazil, even though one of them is from South America and they have it a lot in Brazil. Okay. But I've never seen it. And it's, her name is, its name is Calathea Orbiflora. I have no idea how to say this in English. I think it's, it's Calathea Orbiflora. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. We'll look up the name in English and try to find that for you. What's another one that you like? Uh, the other one, which is my childhood tree flower is uh, Brincos de Princesa. Mm -hmm. And the name in English is Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Uh, one second, because it's sent it to your mom. Ah, Hardy Fuchsia. Okay. I have no idea what that is, but we do not call it the earrings of the princess. No, but it's, I think it's way better. Brincos de Princesa. It makes sense. Yeah, it's beautiful. And your last favorite one? My favorite one, which is from Thailand. Ooh, and exotic. Yes. Yes. Um, is Medellina Magnifica. That's a botanical name. Mm -hmm. But in English, they say as Showy Medellina. Showy Medellina. Yeah. I have on my app. Cool. Yeah. And that's the last thing I was going to ask you, Alexia. You sent me a very cool app yesterday that essentially you can just take pictures of any plant and it automatically identifies that plant 
tells you some cool things about how to grow that plant, what people are saying about it. What is the name of that app and how are you using it? The name is Picture This. And picture This. Picture This. Yeah. Okay. And, well, I'm... I'm not able to go outside and hold my phone and take pictures of everything. So what I'm doing is taking pictures of my plants and seeing what people say about it, like the 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 care that you have to take, um, mm -hmm. what they say about plagues and plagues? pictures. É praga. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, you're talking about like diseases that the plant might get sick. Yeah, but they say plague. No, we don't say plague in, in English. Plague is like um, the black plague, or you could even use that for COVID. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know exactly how we say that in English. Okay, last question, Alexia. Mm, how do I want to phrase this? What would you recommend if someone is listening to this and they are thinking, oh, I love plants. I would love to do something similar. Where would you recommend that they start? Do you have any ideas, resources, that kind of thing? Yes. First of all, find uh, a orto <laughs> next to your house that you can go there or call them and be friends with them and make sure that they have healthy plants because it's really easy to go to any flower shop and get any kind of plant and this plant will be only healthy for two weeks and it's not worth it okay right step one find a reliable supplier yes step two when you had this person you call this person and you say hey i want to start this which plants are the easiest ones for who's starting and my apartment doesn't have so many so many sunlight so much sunlight so much sunlight is like this and that and then this person will give you all the tips and everything that you need to start okay step two ask an expert for advice always a good idea is there a step three yeah find uh, an instagram account that you really like about plants such as a tripeirinha she's great and she does a very very good job explaining everything to you um how to take care the vases that you have to have it's important to have small holes in the vases so the water can drain mm -hmm. and Perfect. like small tips like that that will make your life easier. But the most important one is depending on where you are right now. For example, you can be in Brazil, you can be in the United States, you can be in Denmark. I don't know. Pay attention at the weather. So for me, it's pay not... Pay attention good. to the weather. Pay attention to the weather. So for me, it's not good to buy plants during winter, for example. All the plants will be they're hibernating, you right, know? Right, <laughs> So wait for the best moment and do it. Yeah, and I would say the last step is probably just go out and do it. Experiment. Try. Get your hands dirty, literally and figuratively. Sing. Um, for example, to see if the plants need water or not, I'm sticking my finger inside the... <laughs> the, the, yeah. the Sticking it in the soil in the soil to see if they need water or not. So don't act like, oh, this plant is beautiful. I'm going to have it in my home just because it's beautiful. You need to love it. And that's it. Yeah. You got to love those little plants. And Alexia, I think it's fabulous that you have not only a really cool project, but you are also bringing a little bit of life and nature into our apartment. I can't wait to see it in real life. Any last words today? No. Just this. Okay, guys. Go out. Get you some plants. Bring some nature into your house. Don't go out. Oh, I mean, <laughs> stay at home. Online. Um, just, you know what I mean. <laughs> Begin the process of planting. If that is interesting to you. And we will be back tomorrow with more quarantine tips, resources. And yeah, stay safe. Stay home. We love you. See you guys tomorrow. 
Bye.